कंटिन्यूंग द सीरीज ऑफ वीकली कॉन्टेस्ट टू नाइनटी है कम द सेकंड क्वेश्चन इन क्यू माई नेम सनसी डेजा आई एम वर्किंग एज सॉफ्टवेयर डेवलपर फॉर डाटा डोबी एंड लेट्स शूट फॉर सॉल्विंग काउंट लैटेस्ट पॉइंट इन साइड द सर्कल हेयर इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी आर गिवन एन आर ए टू डी मेट्रिक्स वेयर इन ईच रो रिप्रेजेंट्स a circle where in each circle has three parameters the x center coordinate the y center coordinate and the radius of it what do we need to identify we need to count the number of lattice points that are present inside at least one circle how do you define a lattice point it's really simple a lattice point is a point that has integer coordinates also it is given that point that lies on the circ circumference of the circle is also considered to be inside it Here are the. They have provided us with an example. I'll be walking you through this example as well as the algorithm to go about it. Why the presentation? So let's quickly hop on to it. Lead code double to four nine. Count lattice points inside a circle. And let's read I D I T over the definition of the lattice point. A lattice point is a point that has integer coordinates. So this is the biggest hint that was specified in the question. If people took this hint properly, then they would have been able to solve this question. Otherwise, it's really difficult. Why I am saying this? Let's walk through an example. So let's assume the same example, and let's not shoot for understanding this coordinate system. Let's try and understand the circle in general. Let's assume that the center of the circle happens to be equal to x comma y, and the radius is r. Now let's try and identify those set of coordinates that should be of area of interest. For that, let me just draw a rectangle around this circle, and let's draw this rectangle. so we are sure that x comma y and the values of r will be in integer format this was specified in the question and what would be the coordinate system of this rectangle so this point would be nothing but x minus r comma y minus r this coordinate this point would be equal to the coordinates of this point would be equal to x plus r comma y minus r the coordinates of this point would be equal to x plus r comma y plus r and the coordinate of this point would be equal to x minus r comma y plus r now what we can do we can simply iterate over all the coordinates that lie within this rectangle all the integer coordinates and we can simply use the mathematical formula to identify the distance between a given coordinate and the center of the circle if that distance is less than r that means it lies inside the circle if it is beyond r that means it lies outside the circle and you while drawing this rectangle around the circle we have identified all the integer coordinates what i am trying to say let's quickly shoot for the coding section and i'll explain everything there but just remember that we draw a circle so as to identify all the set of integer coordinates then we apply the formula of, of, for finding out the distance between a coordinate and the center of the circle and if in case that distance turns out to be greater than r that means it lies outside the circle if it is equal to r that means it lies on the circle and if it is less than r then it lies inside the circle so let's shoot at the coding section and conclude the approach here i have created a set i'll talk about the data structure set why it is being used and its generic type but let's shoot for it the iteration that i am going to focus on i iterate over all the circles i extract the center of the circle x coordinate i extract the center of the circle y coordinate and the radius of the circle and then i go and identify all the integer coordinates that lie in that rectangle zone what is that rectangle zone it starts from the x coordinate starts from x minus r goes up till x plus r the y coordinate starts from y minus r goes up till y plus r and then i go ahead and identify the distance of that i and j coordinate that that i have identified on that rectangle uh with respect to the center of the circle and if that distance happens to be less than or equal to r square that means the i and j point lies inside or on the circle if it does then i add it to the set otherwise i skip it up and this set will store the coordinates of x comma y so as to avoid overlapping situations for example 
a coordinate was added into your answer by virtue of one particular circle and then it again got added by virtue of another circle therefore we don't want to add overlapping answers onto it therefore we have used use set here once i'm out of this loop i simply return its size it gives us the number of lattice point that exist on any of the circle and in, if you are confused about this formula how to derive this up i am attaching a link to a very good article wherein they clearly show how to identify a point whether it's inside the circle whether it's on or whether it's outside this is a formula that they have specified i have exactly used the same formula here x1 and y1 signifies a distance rather than coordinate and in case the distance of x plus i x square plus y square is greater than r square that means it lies outside if it is equal that means it lies on the circle if it is less that means it lies inside the circle so i have used these two formulas over here and remember x1 and y1 here have different meaning rather what we have specified over here so that with this let's conclude today's session i hope you really enjoyed it if you did please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for being it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more updates from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye